I'm going to show you how to use Visual Basics 2008. Today we're going to make a small little login program and embed a music player on the next form. If you want to use a Windows form application. Now, to make your own one, just give it a like, long look. Now we need a button, two buttons. Try and make them the same so it looks professional-ish. one exit call one ok now we need text box another text box label you can add your own custom features to it later like background font, stuff like that. I'm just doing it very simply and quickly. Call one of them password. Call the other one username. Alright. On the password text box, come down, should be somewhere near the bottom, password character, or password car. Even there, a little star ask us so it looks like a professional text box for a password right, on your OK button double click bring it up and you put text box one dot text space equals space quotation mark whatever you want your username to be uh, we'll say small just because I can't think of anything else. Space, then, we've got an if at the very beginning before your text box one, put if, space, right, then we put if, text box two dot text, space equals space, quotation, the password can be one, two, three, four, five, quotation, space, then, Uh, form to dot show and we can have a close now you'll have problems with that close command unless you change some settings first we also need a new form there we go form 2 right. and under project windows application 1 properties whatever you called it shutdown mode change that from when startup closes to when last form closes. You can also add your own little icon in here if you want. Right. If you don't, then when you use that close command, the whole program will close, which kind of sucks. Right, that's your first one done. Pretty simple, really. I'll just show you how it works quick. Username, what was it? Small. And the password was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see how it comes up with stars? Very good. Click OK, it brings up the next form. Right, on here, we can have very simple. We embed a music player. Down here, I have it under general, it's Windows Media Player. Just make it bigger. Click on it, change the properties. It's this little button here. Change it up to max. Right. If you don't know, if you don't have that there, right click, go to choose items, hopefully it'll load quick. You should take some time, which kind of sucks. Uh, uh, components, com components, right down at the bottom. And there's a media player. Check it, click OK. It appear down here and then put it on your thingy. Now we get a new button. Whack underneath the media player. And label that as add music. Now we need to find an open file dialog. It's usually under dialog. Well, it is under dialog even. Open file dialog 1. It's very important, don't forget that. Now the command is open file dialog 1 dot show dialog. 
then next line ax windows media player one dot url space equals open file dialog one dot file name just file name not file names just file name very simple I'll put the code if it lets me in the side next to the video close that and that will work now you can choose your music from there play the music what else can we do well uh, yeah we can add our own custom thing click on the actual form find background image local resource here we go look at that now let's run that Please up the form log in small one two three four five okay there you go I hope you can hear this look at that now oh yes we can add a logout button I'll show you how to do that too just whack the button down here and we'll call that log out stupid key button that's not what I wanted to call you log out there we go double click on here and we'll have form one dot show enter and under that we'll have close that will act as a logout button to you to the password section so when you actually log in have this logout button you click on here it takes you back to the login very good you can also run executables from your buttons if we just whack a button in doesn't matter where, double click on here using shell type shell space open bracket quotation now where it is I'm gonna run command prompt because I'm cool c colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash cmd dot executable I believe this only works with ex executables there you go it's very very simple like that now log in two, three, four, five. click on here and it starts up your command prompt for you very good well that's all I have to show you today I'll do more videos on tougher things, harder things later on